don't ask me to pick one. It's not going to happen. Both of these guys are my guys, and I am very conflicted, and I am still trying to recover from what I saw last night. But... Demons and Divas, and bienvenidos. Welcome back to my channel and to episode two of Raw High Fives. I am Isa, aka the Demon Diva, barking in the background. It's the big dog Roman, and we are re we are ready to do this. If this is your first time tuning into Raw High Fives, the concept is easy. I give you five things that I liked about Monday Night Raw. It could be a match, it could be a moment, it could be a segment, it could be an outfit, it could be anything. In addition to that, I bring you three unpopular opinions about last night's episode of Monday Night Raw. And last but not least, your top five favorite comments that popped me in the live chat of last night's stream. Before I get started, please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. We are so close to 20,000. Imagine if we hit 20,000 at the same time that Roman hits 1,000. <laughs> Stop. My, oh my God, how crazy that would be. Anyways, okay, I'm dreaming. But also follow me on all of my social media. It is right down here, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. You guys can also find me on Wrestling Inc., Lucha Libre Online, Know Your News, Yellow Jackets Bus. You know the drill. I am being bullied by my dog. And let's get started with last night's episode of Monday Night Raw, which was live from Chicago, Illinois. We got a visit from CM Punk. It was an eventful show, to say the least. Uh, number one in my high fives, nobody should be surprised about what I'm putting at number one in my high fives, is Bad Bunny is going to return to the ring. Bad Bunny is coming back to the ring in a street fight against Damian Priest in Puerto Rico. I think this this is going to be a banger. I wish WWE was uh, talking about how Damian Priest is also from Puerto Rico a little bit more. It feels like we're not mentioning it at all, and it's like driving me absolutely crazy. But that's just me nitpicking. I'm excited to see Bad Bunny wrestle again. We've seen him in the ring in a couple of appearances in the past. Uh, we obviously saw him do the dive at the Royal Rumble back in 2020 then after that we did see him have a wrestlemania match where he tagged him with damian priest against john morrison and the miss and his performance was incredible he did have a quick comeback at the royal rumble 2021 where he did a canadian destroyer well the bunny destroyer on matt riddle and he took an f5 from brock lesnar so uh i think bad bunny's up there with some of the best uh talent that we sing. Also, I want to give him a special shout out for acknowledging Savio Vega in his candlestick. He had it written in there, a mi manera o pa la calle, which is Savio Vega's phrase. And that popped me because he even mentioned setting one on his songs, Puesto Pa Guerrear, from the Yo Hago Lo Que Me De La Gana album. So, awesome stuff. I would have rather seen Damien Priest and Pat Bunny team up in Puerto Rico, if you want my honest opinion. Don't ask me to pick one. It's not going to happen. Both of these guys are my guys, and I am very conflicted, and I am still trying to recover from what I saw last night. But, I mean, it takes some big cojones for Pat Bunny to try to take on Damien Priest. Have you seen Damien Priest? I wouldn't fuck with him. I mean, I would. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, at number two, we have a brand new World Heavyweight Championship title announced from Triple H. And I know that a lot of people on the internet don't think that I understood the concept because God forbid I try to joke. But I do understand the concepts. And if you guys didn't, if you guys missed it, there's going to be a draft. Roman Reigns will be drafted to one brand. He will become the WWE Undisputed Universal Champion. Therefore, the other brand will crown a brand new World champion there's a lot of mixed uh opinions about this all over the internet i like the belt personally i think the belt is beautiful and it looks different from all the recent belts that they have come out with looking the same so we don't have a lot of answers on how this is going to go down we just know that it is going down at night of champions which is the 
premium live event happening on May 27th. It's a big date as well because Roman Reigns does hit a thousand days on that day. We don't know if Roman's going to carry both of these belts. We don't know if Roman's getting a new belt. We don't know if we're going to do a tournament. We don't know anything. We have to make it past backlash and the draft before we probably start getting the answers to those questions. But as of right now, you guys can stop crying about having an absent champion. You'll have a champion there every week, and then you go on to complain about that as well. But you know how it is. Anyways, at number three, Austin Theory's promo. Listen, I got a good chuckle when... uh, Bobby Lashley told him that he likes to demand matches. And Austin Theory was like, if you like to demand matches, where was your match at WrestleMania? Bro. <laughs> it was a good line. It was a good burn. I have been, a, I'm not a fan of the beer, but I have been a very big fan of Austin Theory recently. And he did beat John Cena. I know not a lot of people are talking about that match, but he did beat John Cena at WrestleMania. So it only makes sense that we put the machine behind him. I personally think that a backlash Austin Theory will walk away victorious because I feel like we're setting up a one-on-one uh, field with Bronson Reed and Bobby Lashley. And I feel like we will set up a better field for Austin Theory once this draft and the brands are established and we know where Austin Theory and the United States Championship will be and what that roster looks like. Uh, where am I at? Number four, banger after banger after banger. There was a lot of really good wrestling last night on Monday Night Raw. I really enjoyed the women's match. Chad Gable, underrated. I absolutely love the main event. Like, like Damian Priest was literally trying to murder Rey Mysterio. And even it ended on a DQ. I was really, really enjoying the match. Even the way that it ended with him just throwing the freaking chair at Rey Mysterio was absolutely insane. This is the second week in a row that I bring up the fact that there is some good wrestling on Monday Night Raw, and that is something that can't just be denied. And the matches feel fresh. It's not like we're getting the same things every week. Um, I don't like seeing LWO lose, and I don't like seeing uh, Damage Control lose. Like, they just keep taking these L's, and it's like, what are we doing with these factions right now? At number five, and last for our high five this week, it is Seth Rollins. is very, very good at his job. Seth Rollins came out there last night and sold you on the brand new championship and sold you on this Omas versus Seth Rollins match in one segment. It was beautiful to see. I just wish they would have done that and announced the match after instead of announcing the match for no reason whatsoever. I like the the train of thought that MVP has of trying to get Omas against the best of the best because that's the only way he's going to be able to prove himself. It's true. So I just want to say, like, he just took Seth Rollins on the mic for five minutes for people to get behind the new championship and for people to get behind Seth Rollins and Omas because I was invested after this segment. So bravo to Seth Rollins. Obviously, we know he is very, very good at his job. Unpopular opinions about last night's episode of Monday Night Raw. <laughs> I mean, a lot of them are going to be very similar to last week, but it's because they're doing the same thing with both of these characters. Number one, Cody, he just talks too much, man. <laughs> I don't need the Cody Rhodes uh, promo every freaking week. I did think I was intrigued by Finn trying to recruit him into Judgment Day, and I thought they put on a banger of a match. Of course, it's Cody Rhodes and Finn Balor. Of course, they're going to put on a great match. But why can't we just have him wrestle? Also, have we not thought about making baby faces smarter? Because if you're going to go on to face Brock, why are you taking all these matches if you're still kind of injured from the beatdown that Brock gave you? You know, like I understand you're a baby face, but I would assume that you don't, you want to be fully recovered in order to take on one of the biggest challengers of your career so that's just my opinion and number two with the unpopular opinion i gotta go back to heel in her heel turn i think that we need to have Lita. We need to have Becky Lynch. Somebody has to come and counter because right now it just feels like she's building a feud by herself. And I did like her promo last night a lot better than I liked it the week before. But the fact that nobody's retaliating, it's like, why did, why did we do this heel turn for? For her to just cut promos on herself every week? It's giving me... Remember when Bray Wyatt was like building his feud against The Undertaker and he was all alone the entire time? It's giving me that. And my last unpopular opinion is a lot of unanswered questions, right? Like you come out and you announce this brand new championship. That is great, but we don't know if it was going to be a tournament, who qualifies, none of that. We have to make it through. I feel like we're just, and I get it, right? There's two pay-per-views in May, so we got to start building for the other ones since Backlash is already next weekend. But I feel like uh, 
once the bell was unleashed, there was a lot more questions than answers, but I'm excited to see where it goes. Last but not least, my five favorite comments from you guys. If you guys didn't know, I live stream. I do watch alone for the majority of the shows. And Raw is one of my favorite watch alones of the week because you guys interact with me in the chat. And a lot of times you say some funny shit. And I wish I could pick a lot more than five. But then it wouldn't be the high fives, right? So here is five comments that got a good chuckle out of me last night. Number one is Christian. I don't know if it's Keyless or Quells. I don't know. I don't know, but Christian said, 50 Shades of Cody. <laughs> At one point in the evening during his promo, Cody just started stripping. <laughs> so that comment kind of popped me because 50 Shades of Cody, we were all like, what is he doing? What is he taking his little clothes off? Of course, he was taking his little clothes off to remind us that the last time he was at the Old State Arena was held in a cell when... As your little peck went pop. His little peck went pop. Favorite comment of the night, number two, Edward Cousins had to troll in the chat and said, Omas will win the new belt. You know what's scary about this comment? I can actually see it happening. At number three, Chelsea. Ah, my girl Chelsea popped me. I'm a big Bianca Belair fan, but I would always have respect for a nice wordplay. And Chelsea said, freaking Bianca stale air needs to turn heel and of course the wordplay between bianca belair and still air listen it's the little things okay pop me thank you chelsea for that number four dylan matthews with a comment saying <laughs> broke back bunny because when we saw bad bunny arrive at the arena he was wearing his little cowboy hat i thought he looked fantastic but a lot of people were making a lot of comments about bad bunny's cowboy look and at number five is adrian f with the comment saying isa you were supposed to prevent this. And he was talking about Damien Priest and my buddy fighting each other. I was supposed to keep the friendship alive and I could not get it done. Ah. Anyways, I want to thank you guys so much. I know this was a rush one, but I'm recording it a little late. Tuesdays are usually busy days for me because I do know your news TLR during the day. So I got to figure out when to squeeze this somewhere in there. But I will be back with an NXT spring breaking watch along tonight. So I hope to see you guys there. Thank you so much for hanging out. Let me know in the comments down below. What was your favorite moment from Monday Night Raw? What is your unpopular opinion? And until next time, adios. Boop.